Now, to move on in part two of many stories, you have to understand I actually didn't, and I still don't, blame um, our doctor. They were doing what they thought was correct. He passed all of the neurological tests and he just seemed fine. He had a headache and his stomach was upset. So no blame lies with them. We went home and he started medicines for migraines. And I said, you have to try and go to school. And we did this round of, I have a headache. My stomach's upset. I don't feel well. I'm tired. And his irritability just increased. I had to go pick him up several days at school because he just didn't feel good. And like always, just kept reassuring him, you have migraines and we're gonna have to learn to deal with them. About two weeks into this cycle, I'm at home and my son Zachary, who mind you is 11, comes barreling through the front door and yells, mom, mom, Patrick needs you. So I jump up and I said, what's the matter? He said, Patrick can't walk home. He's at the bus stop. I said, what do you mean Patrick can't walk home? He says, Patrick can't walk home. So I jump in the car with my three-year-old, drive two and a half blocks to the bus stop, and there he sits on the berm of the road crying. Patrick, what's wrong? I ask. I don't know, Mommy. He said, all day I had to hold on to the walls in the building. I was dizzy. I still don't feel good. And my legs feel like rubber, like they're just not going to hold me up anymore. And I can't walk home. That led to our first of many, many trips to Children's Hospital. After a trip to Children's, they concluded that his CT was clear. He didn't have anything wrong on any x-rays. There was no explanation for what was going on other than, you guessed it, he has a migraine. Which, they gave him a migraine cocktail and it did kick the pain out of his head. Oh, be low for me, I'm like, he actually had a migraine. There's nothing else wrong with him. You're sure this isn't a concussion? Yes, we're, we're sure. Send us home. Well, when that medicine wore off, so did the magic that came with it. And we were back with miserable Patrick, who now can no longer tolerate sound, lights, smells. He has a headache, his stomach is hurting, and his legs feel weird. Flash forward a couple more weeks. It's just not getting better. Back to children's. This time they decided to admit him. And he had for 11 days of inpatient stay, a plethora of tests. You name it, they threw it at him. They really couldn't find anything wrong other than maybe possibly Mrs. Burton, possibly without any definitive explanation. He might have had an infection that attacked his brain. But we don't see any lingering evidence of that. We're just assuming that might be what happened. So, go home, continue with what we've started in therapy, and he should get better. What I didn't tell you was while we were there, he walked into that ER and he left needing crutches or a wheelchair because his balance was leaving his body.